Earth has been hit by something incredibly energetic that comes from one of the most mysterious regions of the cosmos and is leaving researchers completely baffled. What happened here? And where did the mysterious Amaterasu particle come from? Be sure to stay tuned until the end to get to the bottom of one of the most exciting cosmic mysteries ever. And if you like it, I'd be galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the algorithm to show this important topic to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. Okay folks, we've been hit by something from the depths of space that far exceeds our imagination. So basically a normal working day for any astronomer. But joking aside, what has now hit the Earth is indeed extraordinary and has had the world of science in a state of absolute excitement for a few days now. We are talking about the Amaterasu particle. But before we look at this particle, it is important to understand what cosmic rays actually are. Cosmic rays are highly energetic charged particles that hit the Earth from the depths of space. They come from a wide variety of sources, both within our galaxy, the Milky Way, and from outside it. The origins can be gigantic black holes, colliding neutron stars, exploding red giants, and in principle, anything the imagination can come up with. In theory, even advanced structures such as Dyson spheres from interstellar civilizations that we do not yet know about. The cosmic radiation then arrives on Earth, and diligent scientists then try to calculate its place of origin backwards. So far, so unusual. But what happened here is truly mind-boggling. On May 27, 2021, the scientists came across the Amaterasu particle. The associated paper has only just been published. The cosmic particle captured here had an energy of 244 exa-electron volts. And now some of you will ask sheepishly, exa, what? Is that a lot? That is a lot. In the entire history of astronomy, there is only one other recorded cosmic particle with more energy. The Oh My God particle of 1991 with 320 exa electron volts. 1991 is also the year I was born, so the reaction fits. Oh my God. But anyway, appropriately enough, the Amaterasu particle is named after the Japanese sun goddess. One of the scientists involved, Toshihiro Fuji, professor at the University of Tokyo, Japan, says, when I first discovered this ultra-high-energy cosmic ray particle, I thought there must be a mistake because it showed an unprecedented energy level in the last three decades. Why are researchers so shocked by this particle? Because they cannot explain what source in the cosmos could produce such a particle. Exploding stars, i.e. supernovae, for example, do not have nearly enough energy to produce such a particle. Just realize that we have received radiation from the cosmos that is so energetic that even a violent event, like a dying, exploding giant star, could not produce it. Its energy even exceeds that of particles produced by the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, the most powerful particle accelerator built by humans. To give you a better idea, the energy of this particle is equivalent to that of a golf ball hurtling through space at 153 km per hour. So where does the Amaterasu particle come from? Perhaps from an extraterrestrial megastructure. We can actually trace its origin, and here's how. Cosmic rays rain down on Earth almost constantly and can then be detected by instruments with the telescope Array Observatory in the USA which also found the Amaterasu particle. Below a certain energy threshold, the flight path of these particles is similar to that of a ball in a pinball machine as the particles oscillate back and forth like microwaves against electromagnetic fields due to the cosmic background in space. But particles with the energy of oh my god, or the Amaterasu particle race relatively unbent through intergalactic or interstellar space without being strongly deflected by cosmic magnetic fields. This makes it possible to track their origin, practical. A bit like when a soccer clatters through your window and you can track its trajectory exactly to your neighbor's garden. And here's the thing, the tracing revealed that the particle came from a large void. And I don't mean the big void in your hearts, but the local void, a gigantic region that borders our galaxy group, and which, as the name suggests, is pretty empty. 
It has a diameter of just under 200 million light years and does have a few galaxies, but on the whole it is empty and it gets even crazier. According to some estimates, the oh my god particle also came from there. So we have the two most energetic, mysterious cosmic particles of all time. And both come from a gigantic cosmic void in which there is actually nothing at all. So you can ask the legitimate question, what? Now you understand why scientists are so perplexed. There are a few ideas as to what could be the cause of the particles. But before I present them to you, let's play a little game. Write to me now in the comments before you go on to see what your best idea is. Where does the Amaterasu particle come from? What could be hidden in the local void that creates something like this? I'm really looking forward to your creative ideas. As already mentioned, we can rule out exploding stars. Their energy would not be enough and there simply aren't many stars in the local void. But what about a massive, high-energy object that can hide? A supermassive black hole. In the vicinity of such gigantic gravitational monsters, matter is broken down into its subatomic components and protons, electrons and other particles are hurled into intergalactic space at almost the speed of light in so-called jets. This could explain the enormous energy of the Amaterasu particle. However, some researchers argue that it is not very likely that such a massive black hole is located in the local void. Because where there are no galaxies, there are not so many black holes. This is why the search for clues is now going in an even more exciting direction. Professor John Bells from the University of Utah, co-author of the new study says, it could be defects in the structure of space-time, colliding cosmic strings, I mean, I'm throwing out crazy ideas that people come up with because there's no conventional explanation. Defects in the structure of space-time? I love it when serious researchers start talking about this stuff. So ultra-high-energy cosmic rays could be generated by unknown physical processes that allow them to travel much greater distances than previously thought. In principle, however, he is saying nothing other than that particles like Amaterasu could be the key to a release of physics that are still unknown to us. If we really understand these particles, who knows what else we could learn about the cosmos and especially about the behavior of space-time. This is super exciting because we have the effects here that we want to create in particle accelerators on Earth, but on a cosmic scale. Cosmic rays provide a testing ground and to study how particles interact at extreme energies that can never be produced by accelerators on Earth. So when you study particles like Amaterasu or Oh My God, it's like having a particle accelerator on steroids. Scientists are now in the process of upgrading the telescope array in Utah to four times the sensitivity. Scientists are now in the process of upgrading the telescope array in Utah to four times the sensitivity. This will allow us to capture more of these rare ultra-high energy cosmic rays and trace their origins more accurately. I think this is incredibly important research. Studying such cosmic elementary particles feels a bit like researching the programming code of the matrix, the very foundations of reality. I am excited to see what we will find. I'll keep you up to date, of course, but to make sure you don't miss it, you should urgently subscribe to my channel now. The YouTube statistics have told me that over half of the viewers haven't subscribed. It's absolutely free. So people, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Such discoveries and a better understanding of particle physics could also hold the key to advanced propulsion technology that will eventually take us to the stars. And NASA now has a concept for a light speed drive. You can find out all about this helical engine and whether you will soon be able to jet off to Proxima Centauri in the video below. Be sure to watch it. It's very, very exciting. And if you want to support my work, please visit the Astro Shop and get the t-shirts from the videos and plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.